Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, the author and finisher of my faith, you are the only great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love you and to them that keep your commandments. Today, Lord, I stand up to establish my freedom and supremacy over this channel and over every territory which you have assigned me dominance over. I sincerely appeal to the God who said in 2 Chronicles 7, 13 to 16, that when I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, or command locusts to devour the land, or send a plague among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. I have chosen and consecrated this temple so that my name may be there forever. My eyes and my heart will always be there. I decree and declare that this channel is sanctified. I present my body as a living sacrifice of obedience, O oh Lord my God. Make these prayers holy and acceptable unto you, O oh God my God, by the shedding of the blood of Jesus Christ, my Savior and Redeemer. Today I confess and sincerely repent my sins and the sins of my forefathers. Let grace and mercy prevail over me and over every member of my family and every friend that I have. I decree and declare that I have free passage for my prayer to ascend into the heavenly realm and there will not be earthbound in the mighty name of Jesus. I come into agreement with the Supreme Court of Heaven and I take my seat in heavenly places with Christ Jesus and therefore wage war from this place and realm. I decree and declare that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will break every yoke, open every portal and assign angels to reinforce me as I advance powerfully into new levels, new dimensions, new realms and territories. Today, Lord, my Father, I tap into prophetic things, Lord, let there be a breakthrough in the heavens and on earth. I break every glass sailings. I crush spiritual bars and iron membranes. I declare establishment of a breakthrough atmosphere. I doctor the spiritual climate and decree that every bit of lukewarmness must be replaced with the fire and the zeal of my God. Father Lord, baptize me with the fire of the Holy Spirit. Let fire be on my lips as I proceed with this prayer. I arrest every demonic and satanic atmospheres and climates created by cultic activities, tribalism, racism, destiny altering images, incantations, ill spoken words, witchcraft, hostile environments, fear, terrorism, rituals, hatred, ethnic hatred and violence in the mighty name of Jesus. I command the spiritual climate to shift economic climate to shift, social climate to shift, cultural climate to shift, educational climate to shift, political climate to shift, and ecclesiastical climate to shift, and to shift, Lord. I announce that the atmosphere must now be filled with the glory of my God. Father, fill the atmosphere. Fill the environment with your glory. I reorganize this environment and declare that it is now suitable for my ministry to thrive, for my relationships to thrive, for my children to thrive, for my loved ones to thrive, for my business to thrive, for my kingdom ideas to thrive, for my nation to thrive, for my government to thrive, and for my economy to thrive. I establish a supernatural environment suitable for miracles to occur. I wait war on the mighty name of Jesus and by the blood of the Lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. By that same blood, evil must be destroyed now in the mighty name of Jesus. For this reason was the Son of God made manifest 
that he will destroy the works of the darkness. I decree and declare that the works of darkness is demolished in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare that every curse over my life is reversed in the mighty name of Jesus. I break through from prevailing and sustaining powers of darkness over this region in the mighty name of Jesus. I arrest every demonic spirit through your effective word, oh my God. Heavenly Father, our God, empower the angelic host to wage war on my behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. I tear down every territorial strongholds in the mighty name of Jesus. I cut off ego entanglements in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus open the gates of psychological prisons and deliver every one of us from spirits of shame. Deliver us from spirits of embarrassment. Deliver us from spirits of harassment and spirits of iniquity. Sanctify us from the spirits of strongholds and pride. Sanctify me from stigmatization. Sanctify me from emotional blackmail. Sanctify me from social impediments. Sanctify me from seductions. Sanctify me from satanic limitations. Sanctify me from satanic illusions. Sanctify me from addictions. Sanctify me from demonic restrictions. Sanctify me from cultural entrenchments. Sanctify me from cultic strongholds. Sanctify me from bewitchments. Sanctify me from traditions and sanctify me from antichrist environments. Set me free from limitations. Set me free from handicaps. Set me free from impediments. I refuse to be marginalized. I refuse to be stigmatized. I refuse to be mobilized. I refuse to be terrorized. I, see, I refuse to be characterized. I refuse to be criticized. I refuse to be tolerated. I refuse to be censored. I refuse to be misjudged. I refuse to be mishandled by anyone. I refuse to be mis mismanaged by anyone. I wear the cloak of favor. I disengage demonic triggers. I disengage psychological buttons and I short circuit them all in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare that I'm non-responsive to demonic depressions. I set up my superior authority over this channel by the mighty blood of Jesus, by the word of God and by the spirit of God. For this reason, I remind you that the Son of God was made manifest and that he will destroy the works of the devil. I decree and declare that the works of the devil are destroyed over this channel and over my neighborhood in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare that the works of the devil are destroyed over this, my body, over my family, over my children, over my loved ones, over my ministry, over my pastor, over my doctor, over my lawyer over my government every evil works of the devil is destroyed in the mighty name of jesus i decree and declare that the plans and the purposes of god shall prevail i decree and declare that the word of god shall prevail and god's will shall prevail i decree and declare that prophetic purposes and destiny shall prevail my vision shall prevail my business shall prevail my kingdom ideas shall prevail. I prophesy to the four winds that the things that have died prematurely and dried up because of satanic activities are quickened and come back to life in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare that the pieces of my destiny and financial puzzles come together. I decree and declare that pieces of my life come together. I decree and declare and raise an hallelujah that my wasted money is being restored. My business that had died is being restored. My relationship that had faced oppositions and struggles are being restored. My family that had been broken is being restored. The body of Christ that has been scattered by false doctrine is being restored. My family that had faced confusion is being restored. My broken, lonely, and loveless marriage is being restored in the mighty name of Jesus. My struggling is being restored. Our government that is full of lies, deception, and corruption is being restored our leaderships are being restored everything is being restored according to your will and purpose in Christ Jesus father I thank you that you with you nothing is impossible 
I decree and declare and raise an hallelujah that the floodgates of heaven are being opened and the heavens releasing the healing rain of Elijah. Spirit of God ushers into times of, re of refreshing that you promise will come direct from the presence of God, direct from your kingdom. I decree and declare that there shall be no more demonic droughts. I decree and declare that there shall be no more demonic dryness. I decree and declare that there shall be no more distress. I decree and declare that there shall be no more wasting diseases. I decree and declare that there shall be no more depressions. I decree and declare that there will be no more demonic drama in our lives. We come in the volume of the Bible written for us. We come in the power of God, hallelujah. We come in the name of the God of Joshua. We come, we decree Jehovah. We decree and declare that every inaccessible wall of the enemy must come down in the name of Jesus and in the power of the Most High God. I shatter barriers, blockages, barricades, and boulders. I declare that I'm advancing according to the purpose and plan of God. The cause of Christ is advancing in this channel. I'm promoting and proclaiming that Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. That the kingdom of God has come. He's king over every region and his kingdom is at hand and it will reign. We take authority over every demonic stronghold and break the cords and brands of wickedness. We shatter evil out of the illegal places and take our rightful seat of authority in those places. We take authority over satanic altars in the mountains. We stand in the spirit of Elijah and Moses and we decree and declare that the God that answers by fire, he is God. That the consuming fire, he is God. We decree and declare that the fire of the Lord destroys every altar of the enemy in the most dangerous name of Jesus. We command that the powers of the enemy be broken off of our lives. We command that the powers of the enemy be broken off of our ministry. We command, command that the powers of the enemy be broken off of our homes. We command that the powers of the enemy be broken off of our mind. We command that the powers of the enemy be broken off of our relationships. We command that the powers of the enemy be broken off of our body. We command that the powers of the enemy be broken off of our life. We command that the powers of the enemy be broken off of our children. We command that the powers of the enemy be broken off of our marriage. We command that the powers of the enemy be broken off of our spouses. We command that the powers of the enemy be broken off of our businesses. We command that the powers of the enemy be broken off of our practices. We decree and declare and raise an hallelujah that evil has no control over our lives anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. We break free of evil control of the enemy. We break free of evil patterns of the enemy's schemes. We break free of evil charms. We break free of evil chains. We break free of evil bondages. We break free of evil incantations. We break free of evil addictions. We break free of evil generational curses. We break free of evil spirits of inheritance. We break free of evil deaths. We break free, free of evil poverty. We break free of hopelessness. We break free of abuse. We break free of helplessness. We break free of prayerlessness. We decree and declare and raise an hallelujah that they are destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever and whatever the witches, the sorcerers, the religion manipulators are using as points of contact to release curses via pictures, via clothing, via strands of hair, via personal items, via garments, via dust, via blood, via voodoo dolls, via altars, via water, via brooms, whatever it is, I command it to be disintegrated in the mighty name of Jesus. We cut lines of communication between familiar spirits and illegal activities designed to frustrate the plans and purpose of God in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We command every evil attachment to be broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We command cords to be broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We command every stronghold of the devil to be broken right now in the mighty in the name of Jesus, we hold hostage, set captive, and take authority over the spirits of doubt, spirits of entanglement, spirits of fear, spirits of terror, spirits of confusion, spirits of unbelief, 
spirits of intimidation, spirits of fear, and spirits of iniquity, we set ourselves free from strongholds of the enemy and over dark spiritual forces which bombard our mind in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, as we stand to pray, we break through the strongholds of the enemy by the dangerous hand of God. We break through the strongholds of the enemy by the dangerous finger of God. We break through the strongholds of the enemy by the dangerous word of God. We break through the strongholds of the enemy by the most powerful blood of Jesus Christ. We break through the strongholds of the enemy by the consuming fire of the Holy Spirit. We break through the strongholds of the enemy by the most effective anointing of God. We break through the strongholds of the enemy by the most sufficient interventions and assistance of Michael, the angel of spiritual warfare. Father, we stand up and take authority in the spirit of Zerubbabel and Elijah and speak grace, grace to the mountain and their devilish altars. Father, cause them to be destroyed by your consuming fire in the most glorified, most honored, most decorated, most worshipped name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.